I'm here with Dick Schantz, product manager of Aries Industries. Tell me a little bit about what you do and we'll take a quick tour of your truck. Sure, well, I'm with Aries Industries, as you said. I've been there about 20 years and we manufacture these grout systems along with our television and uh, other TV inspection systems for sewer lines. Okay. This system really though is directed at chemical grouting, using chemical grouting to stabilize the soil and stop groundwater infiltration, as you know, into the sewer lines. And uh, this is a truck for contractors. You can see there's a lot of underneath storage. It's a heavy duty truck. It's designed for working. In fact, working right off the back here. Here's a nice new feature we added. It's operators don't have to climb in and out anymore. They can just put all their tools that they need on the ground right here. This is sort of the working end. This is the hose. It's a five part hose system, color coded so the operator can keep track of what's going on. 650 feet of hose, 1,200 feet of cable. Everything can be operated from the ground level down here. Shifting the whole works at this point. Daniel, as you come in, I'll just sort of point out the main items. This is a power winch. It goes on the far manhole. It actually drags all the packer and the hoses and camera through the pipe from joint to joint to joint. We call it the remote manhole winch. We also have a wash down system back here for washing down the packer before we put it back in, the cameras. This is a 120 gallon water tank. It's got a heater. The heat is nice because at least where we come from in Wisconsin, the water can be cold year round. We like to stabilize the water temperature about the same temperature as the sewer line. 60, 70 degrees. It makes the grout perform reliably. Yeah, predictably. Predictably, you're exactly right. That's the right term, predictable. I'll just mention this little thing. This is a workbench. It may not look very important, but to an operator at night, he often has to repair some of his equipment. It has a vise, storage area, a lot of storage above, a toolbox on this side. But the real meat of this rig is the chemical system. We got two tanks. You'll notice they're color coded for the two different chemicals. These are DOT approved tanks designed to transport industrial chemicals over the road. Although the chemicals we use are water based, very neutral, they can be pumped in a sewer line. At the end of the day, any waste washed down there's no uh, pollution effect whatsoever. Clean up is easy, soap and water? Soap and water, if you have to, you can just wash your hands off in soap and water. Okay. Um, we are required, however, by OSHA to have protective clothing when we're mixing chemicals. Mixing. Once you're done mixing, the operator doesn't have to stay in a That's suit right. or No, he like doesn't. These tops are, are tight lids. As you can see, they screw on. They provide access and visibility to the chemical. The mixer, you can see down in there. Once we have it all mixed up, however, and we're ready to go, we just put the lid back on again, and away we go. It's watertight. 60 gallon tanks. Each one is 60. Okay. In, in our terminology, it's two batches of grout. A typical batch of grout is 30 gallons in each tank. Yeah. But nice about the 60 is you can draw it down to 10 or 15 gallons, mix a second batch, and never stop pumping. Nice. So your operator in there keeps going all the time. Tell me about your pump system here. The pumps are really the key delivery device. Two things are important with the chemical grouting. We have to saturate the soil. That means we've got to get a lot of chemical out into the soil before it starts to gel. We use stainless steel positive displacement pumps driven by an electric motor, variable speed, or reduction gear. We're basically able to recycle, bypass, and we have a pressure relief valve system. You'll notice it's very accessible from this side if they have to do maintenance or anything like that. Over here is something you probably haven't seen on a lot of trucks. This particular truck is set up so that it can either do grouting or tractoring, meaning it can be used just to TV a line with a tractor and a camera, or it can do chemical grouting. But on the other side here, by just unplugging and switching over, we can switch from chemical grouting to uh, Cutting. Now, cutting is a whole different operation, as you know, related to the lining process. But sometimes when they're grouting, they have to do a little additional cutting. And it's a very helpful feature to have. It's popular with our contractors. 
I'll just put this back where we were. Simple as that, change from one to the other. Have to change the equipment, of course, on the end. Daniel, let me show you the uh, control room now. Come on in. It's rather tight space, but it is the, the home of the operator. I like to tell people that this is where you run the equipment, but it's also your office, yeah. and it's your sales point. So this is where it all takes place. This is, this is control central. This okay. is where the controller, both the operator works out of here. This is where your inspector, or a consulting engineer, or the municipal a sewer and water board will very often come to see what is really going on. This is where all the action happens. Yes, this is where you can see what's happening. Okay. Basically, we have two TV monitors. I don't have the camera running right now, but one of them is a direct picture of the line as seen through the camera. Okay. The other one is a composite of the sewer data that we are accumulating, such as the location, um, the conditions of the pipe, and a small picture. Okay, so the operator really works from this, but he records his data here. He'll have a keyboard on the desktop. He's got a computer up here, uh, DVD or VCR. So he's putting it all on DVD. All on DVD today. Some cases it's on a hard drive and gets shipped right back to the office. Okay, this is the working end of it. Up on top, we have the control power for the camera, the light heads, and the tractor systems. Down in here is the grout control panel. We're able to inflate it. We're able to run an air test. I'm able to pump grout from here by just flicking on this switch. I'm able to see what's the pressure in the pipe as I'm injecting the chemicals. I'm able to time it, how fast we're injecting them and how fast it's curing. We know the time it takes these chemicals once they mix till they're out in the soil and they have gelled or cured. We're able to time that here and monitor it, okay? Lastly, the amount of gallonage pumped. When you think uh, out in the soil, remember we're, we're saturating the soil around a leak. So as we pump uh, a gallon, maybe there's only 10% voids out there. So if we pump a gallon of, of grout, it might fill up as much as 10 gallons worth of soil and sand and everything else. Because we're filling those little void areas between the sand grains and the stones that backfilled the pipe to stop groundwater moving into that area. This lower panel is used to control the lateral plug whenever we're grouting a lateral connection. And it's common to all of Aries trucks today. Dick, how do you keep all of this running? What power is it? Why is that important to contractors? Well, that's a good question, Daniel, because a truck is only as good as the power supply it has. Yeah. And Nothing runs without the right power supply. What we have gone with over the years and found very reliable is we use a diesel generator package. On a truck like this, it's 15 kW, 15,000 watts of power. It's designed to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, except to be fueled up and have the, the oil changed. You can't do anything with this truck if your generator isn't running, okay? okay. So this unit has a power plant that we really have a lot of confidence in. It has given us highly reliable performance. As you can see, there's a main circuit breaker out here. There's a couple little switches for cold weather operation, a preheat, filter systems. This is the working side. You can see everything is visible. We encourage every operator at the start of the day to come out here, look at his rig, check his oil, see the level of the coolant, Make sure there isn't a bunch of dirt that collected in here in a storm or something. Contractors know how to take care of this, know how to maintain it? They learn in a hurry. Okay. <laughs> no, they really do. Now, basically, contractors are very good with mobile equipment. You know, that's the heart of their business. So generators, engines, trucks, that's important. As far as the grouting aspect, there's some very highly experienced contractors around the United States. But as you know, we've developed this grout training school to educate people about grouting, yep. both the operators and the owners of the equipment, but also the consulting engineers and the city people. Both cities and contractors grout. This truck, because it's a contractor truck, does a lot of over the road work, is probably bigger than most cities would have. This is a fully contained unit. Yeah. Our motto is we give a customer something that he basically, when we finish training him, he can hit the road. 
He doesn't have to really add anything else to do the job. Okay, awesome. Happy to show you through this place. Thanks for the tour. Yep, you're welcome.